Hey everybody, it's Sprinkles! And it's Manic! And welcome and back she to... cut out! Sprinkles, Sprinkles and Manic! Manic. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Very good. Alright, we are playing more Ace Attorney today, joined by our special guest, Demi Gans. Hi. So, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into it, I guess. We've got an exciting case on our hands. Turnabout goodbyes. Yes, load the data. December 26th, 944 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby 2. Oh God, yeah, we're in court today, Jesus. Karma. That's right, Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He's about to start now. <laughs> He's a god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case. He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. Dang! <sighs> he taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Uh, so, was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep. Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! He's as ruthless as me, times 20. <laughs> Keeps escalating. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god of prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Um, Maya? Hmm? Uh-huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. Hmm? I can't. Sorry. I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. December 26th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Ooh, I don't is. like his face. <laughs> I've seen... Like okay. Oh, just get ready. <laughs> I've seen a little bit of like stuff like from YouTube thumbnails and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, or like Spoiler. the memes. <laughs> uh, okay. I've seen memes and stuff. You know, the, the Phoenix Wright memes where they're like in a discussing like whether soup is a drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, or like the, uh, the Michael Jackson covers and stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Those are good. Those are really mm -hmm. good. And so they have like him and the the uh, a couple of the other characters that appear later um, on. Yeah, yeah. So um, court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Is this Dean? Yes, it is. Uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool! You seriously think that I would stand here where I'm not completely prepared? Right, my apologies. He's even <laughs> got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Oh. He, he gripping. <laughs> decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, er, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. 
What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident now! Yes, sir! Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Please, take a look at the map. Mm. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here by the edge of the lake. 12.10 a.m. she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It goes new <laughs> <laughs> toward the rental shop. <laughs> Overhead map added to the court record. Testify to the court about the arrest. Now! Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Von Karma. Yes! Actually, I'm the one that is supposed to be handling these proceedings. <laughs> Wrong! There's only one thing you need to do here. Wrong. <laughs> wrong! 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 Get Jeff in here. <laughs> Omega wrong! <laughs> Omega wrong! Wrong. You will slam down your gravel and say the word guilty! That is your role! Yes, of course. You're quite right. No, he's not! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the arrest. Oh, I thought it went in automatically. <laughs> around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> he looks so sad about it. <laughs> sad boy. Hmm, I see. Scumpy. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now! Uh. <laughs> right, I guess I will. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we're pressing, Hold baby. It. You received a call from a man. Uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? His voice! It's terrifying! <laughs> that woman and the man are called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. <laughs> Their testimonies were quite similar, however. I've today have summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping? A lot of heart. A lot of heart! <laughs> what happened next, detective? Hold it! How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, well, I'd say about three minutes. That's fast. That's pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> Our motto for the month is get there quick. Objection! <laughs> Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets! Oh god. <laughs> Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hmm, I look forward to your next year's salary review. Aw, how come to you? So much look forward to these days. This is no time for detective day- Dejected daydreaming. Continue! <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, baby come shoe. Oh, I know. Sweet boy. Hold it! Hold it. Sweet what was Mr. Yet. Edgeworth like? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but... <laughs> what was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well... What I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murder at all, really. Detective! The court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Only detective, hard, cold, objective facts. Y yes, sir. Man, 
He's got a share of objections. <laughs> Hold it! Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. They have a deep, trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Objection! Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep, trusting poppycock. Oh, I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. Mm. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue now. Oh, are we not pressing that? No, oh, oops. <laughs> no, shoot! Ah! Too in, too intimidating. Wait, that's back, problem. right? Q is yeah, pressed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, yeah. The next, this is the one I needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it! Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. You shot through the heart, fatally. Judge! Here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well. The court accepts this bullet into evidence. Hmm. It's a bullet. Okay. That's good to have. Hold it! Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. Sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> the murder weapon. <laughs> what about the pistol made it decisive evidence? <laughs> oh, that face. <laughs> uh, he has do not like that. the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There were fingerprints on the pistol found at the boat. There were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. Ugh, what? Order? Order! So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Y yes, Your Honor. Judge! This is the weapon in question. A accepted into evidence. 22 caliber fired three times. Spares Prince from Edward's right hand. Members of the court. We now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective! Uh, yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Y yes. The ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking! To imagine someone here does not know something as simple as basic as ballistic markings. Nick, he's glaring at me. <laughs> Very well, I'll explain. Actually, judge, you do it. <laughs> me? Uh, <clears throat> ballistic markings are like fingerprints of a gun. The bearer leaves the distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Order! Order! This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it! Well, Judge... I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my oh. witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Judge! Yes? 
What are you doing? A ten minute recess. Now. But wait, I Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Y yes. <laughs> um, this court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? Not the judge. I don't like this guy. <laughs> no, He's pretty you're... cool. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like him more if I make him do the salmonella voice? No. <laughs> Edward! What's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Uh, hmm. <laughs> and that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Do you mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. How am I going to convince anyone of that? Say, Maya? Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? Oh. Sorry. It's no good. Ugh. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? Yeah, you're used to this! Useless. No, absolutely not! No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, <laughs> right? What the heck?! Savage. It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits! Oh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is gonna run out. Really? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. <laughs> it's bad for my heart. Uh oh, oh! <laughs> sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Semi psychotic giggling. <laughs> Court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Lotta Hart, you are a research student at a university? That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Uh, <laughs> Y'all need to learn some manners. <laughs> understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, very well. Your testimony, please. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There wasn't nary a thing on the lake but that boat. Enough. Huh? Judge! She happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo. Accept it as evidence. Well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Ooh. Oh, gasp. Order? I, I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard that shot. There were no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order, order, order. 
I will have order. Well, Judge. The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, this court finds the defendant. Objection! Wait, Your Honor! I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? We have photographic proof! What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. You lose. Or, you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony. Very well, if you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have you held in contempt of court. Uh, Nick, contempt? Contempt of court, you know? I, I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? I think I noticed one little thing. Well, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's take him on. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. <laughs> Very well. I pray for your sake, this isn't a waste of time. Alright. Hold, Hold it! Just after midnight, you say. In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Yeah, well, well yeah. Objection! I know you want to find contradictions, but really... I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. I don't get pinged for this stuff, right? I don't get dinged? No, no, no. There's no okay, penalty for, to your bar up there. If for it was fine. yeah. Okay. Why were you camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Always mm -hmm. press further. <laughs> Miss Hart, <laughs> could you be more specific about your research? Objection! <laughs> what does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing! I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. Sustained. Wait, wait now! I'm the one who says that! Well then, say it already! Objection su sustained. Thanks for nothing, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> Hold it! So you weren't looking at the lake at that time? Nope. I looked after it. I heard that noise. Objection! She said that already! I asked you to find contradictions, not leisurely chat with the witness. Ugh. Jesus, just let me play the game! Yeah, he cuts you off constantly. He's very aggressive. I Could don't you like clearly him. clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? Uh-oh. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, uh, of course. Objection! The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You'd better look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. Hold it! Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. Objection! You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless! Contradictions, Mr. Right. Von Karma, I think <laughs> I hate you. You'd say. I'll see right now. <laughs> He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? 
There wasn't nearly a thing on the lake with that boat. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. <laughs> How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake. It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Objection! <laughs> Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, that's what I'm... Sustained! Yes, of course. Oh, great. Enough! I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a t contradiction in the testimony worth noting. But, Your Honor... You keep your promise. Mr. Wright? Wait, am I getting penalized for not... You didn't do anything no, wrong. This is, just how this it goes. is the progression of the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... <sighs> I'm afraid I have to penalize you for any further outbursts by holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh, uh huh. Nick! Lotta's testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean. But if I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? Who was that? It, it was me. Maya. It, is something wrong? Do you, do you need to use the facilities? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. Lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. Lotta! Did you really did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lotta. What's the big idea treating me like some kind of criminal? I saw him, I swear it! I saw Edgeworth! Enough! Judge! Declare the defense in contempt of court. Uh, yes, uh, of, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. No. No. Wait. Who's this? We don't know. I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. Ha! What's the difference? All that remains for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right to miss Stop Phoenix for right? Wrong! <laughs> Wrong! Wrong! <laughs> what? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony, and I have a right to cr I have a right to cross-examine her again. Order, 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 order! You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What? Miss Lada Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. But, but he is in contempt of court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. 
Hmm. Very well. Maya Fei? You will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick. I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. I love her. Maya. She's so tough and brave. Pah. I care not for this melodrama. And I think we are going to cross-examine again Whoa, on, on the next the episode. Next episode. Pah, I care not for this next episode. <laughs> well, if you want to not be like Von Karma, then you should like the episode and maybe subscribe to see more. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Ha <laughs> ha!